Well, Lumade, uh, good afternoon. I've just uh, stepped out of Court 5 at the Old Bailey in central London, where we have seen all four defendants in the dock. So that is, as you said, former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikwaramadu, alongside his wife Beatrice, their 25-year-old daughter Sonia, and a fourth individual, Obina Obeta, who are at the centre of what has really gripped two nations, this human organ uh, trafficking uh, uh, trial. It did begin last week. Uh, the, the case, the trial, uh, was supposed to start in May uh, this year. It was brought forward to the 31st of January, but it does appear as if today really was uh, the start of what is likely to be a very lengthy, a very complicated, complex trial. We do have a jury. Uh, Twelve individuals were sworn in today. Uh, seven of them being uh, female, four of them uh, being male. And it was a morning for the prosecution. And uh, it was certainly an emotive um, reaction, uh, talking about some of the significant facts in this case, really pitting uh, the Aquera Madus as very powerful, very wealthy, a very uh, influential family before their arrest in June of 2022. But one thing the prosecution outlined to the jury is that you can have all the money and all the power that you want. If you don't have health, then you have an issue. And that, of course, is what is the center of this case. Uh, Sonia Aquaramadu's significant um, kidney failures. Uh, the last time I updated our viewers, we weren't sure whether or not she was fit to stand trial. But of course, it does appear as if the judge has deemed her fit to stand trial. However, the judge did say that the court would have to break um, for significant periods of the day so that she can still undergo uh, this dialysis uh, treatment um, at one of the private hospitals um, she is frequenting. Now, of course, as they were painting the Aquarium Madus as a very wealthy, um, influential family, uh, the 21-year-old uh, victim, who cannot be named uh, for legal reasons, um, was depicted as a market trader, a market trader who was on um, as little as uh, less than two pounds a day, um, who wanted a better life, was promised a better life by the Aquarium Madus, and was convinced convinced to donate um, his human tissue um, on the basis of being financially rewarded. Now, the prosecution have said, and they are expecting that over the course of the next couple of weeks, you know, some of the testimony we're likely to hear is going to be heartbreaking. They're not against uh, the fact that the Aquaramadus wanted uh, their daughter Sonia uh, to be fit and healthy, but under uh, the laws of England and Wales, it is illegal to try and coerce somebody to donate their organs for financial gain. So over the next couple of weeks, uh, the prosecution will try to provide evidence to the court and to the jury that that is exactly what is likely to happen. Please do bear with me, Olumide, because there is so much um, information to get through. I suppose some of the highlights from this morning is that investigations are ongoing. So although we do have four known defendants who are in court today, today um, and have been named by the media. There are two other individuals, I believe two of them doctors based in the United Kingdom, um, that are under significant investigation. We may possibly see them hauled to court at some point. And another individual based in Nigeria, uh, one Isaac or Denwe, who I am able to name, who is an uncle or brother of Sonia Ekweramadu. Apparently, he is a key individual um, who formed part of this so-called criminal gang from Nigeria, um, who was able to advise uh, on medical um, possibilities for the donation of the kidney. We are at some point going to hear from this 21-year-old alleged victim of human trafficking, he will take the stand, as will uh, so many others. Uh, but uh, from this morning, I can certainly say that uh, not easy listening uh, for the former Deputy Senate President, who did look 
at some unease at times, as to be expected. He wasn't wearing um, the typical attire we've seen him using, which is that grey uh, tracksuit set. He was in a burgundy jumper with a blue shirt. Uh, this fourth individual, this Obina Obeta, was taking copious notes from a very uh, a thick logbook. And then, of course, Sonia and Beatrice Aquaramadu, both dressed in black, both uh, looking um, incredibly uh, stressed and anxious. But I can tell you today, live from the Old Bailey, that uh, uh, you know the, the, the trial potentially of the year um, has very much kicked off. And uh, over the next couple of days, it's for the prosecution to outline their case uh, to the men and women that make up this jury. Thank you, Juliana, for this very visceral and detailed account of the proceedings at the Equinemadu trial.